See, Cassie's trying to look taller than me. It, it, it doesn't really work. I would have laughed if you would have fallen, by the way. I would have really laughed if you would have fallen. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. So, anyway, all right. Jiggle, jiggle. That, yeah, no <laughs> Nia Jax, I know. Yeah, with that. <coughs> okay, so anyway, we're all from Atlanta. Let's start out by saying that uh, Lillian left WWE. I hope everything works out. Her dad has cancer. Uh, this is terrible. See, usually I use her as an armrest, so it's even funnier. Um, I'm going to oh, laugh. I, still love I, I love you too, but I'm going <laughs> to laugh if you fall over. I'm going to laugh if you fall over. If you have it on video, it's your perfect thing. <laughs> well then. <laughs> now, and on that note, folks. Just like you wish you videotaped me falling off that log at the mountain. Oh, God, I wish I had. <laughs> um, we were on Mount Pilchuck a few miles outside, well, a lot of miles outside of town, and it would have been funny to catch her as she fell down. <laughs> anyway, so Lillian left WWE. I hope everything works out. It's terrible that her dad has cancer, a very horrible thing. So, there we go. Start off with that. So, anyway, Sasha had a promo. That was a good start. She stumbled a bit. She's probably nervous. Crowd. Did you say she stumbled a bitch? She stumbled a... Yes, a stumbled a bitch. Yes, yeah, stumbled a bitch. No, she stumbled a bit. It was... I mean, that was expected. She was tired, probably. And she was probably pretty excited, you know, Woo! because she was getting a lot... Charlotte hadn't come out yet. She was probably getting a whole lot of adulation. That was really good. And then Charlotte does come out. Sasha and her have a uh, promo battle. Charlotte's like, you're just a one-night stand. And Sasha, of course, if it wasn't for a one-night stand, you probably wouldn't be here. Burn! Ouch. I mean, ouch. Yes, Rick. God Flair. damn, that was hot. I mean, it was so hot. So hot. So hot. It, don't, don't elbow me in the nipple. Stop that. Anyway, um, these, these can cut glass right now. Um, so anyway, that was that was a really, really good line by by Sasha and Charlotte. It was good stuff. Jericho coming out. Jericho and his porn stash, uh, porn stash scarf look. Uh, quiet, bon quiet. It's his life. No. Oh, we're half in there. Oh, we're living on a prayer. A prayer. <laughs> yeah, he may need a prayer to have his... Uh, the fact that we said that at the same time is fucking crazy. Especially scary since I ruined that song for you. So, um... <laughs> Anyway, oh, oh, you said, yeah, I can. Oh, I'm gonna. Anyway. Just so, like you ruined Come On, Eileen. Make sure she's into it first. It seriously sounds like the lyrics of that song are making that now. We're, we're horrible people. Just making 80s songs references, you know, for everything. <laughs> so anyway, um, Enzo, boy, Enzo is so organically over. It is not even funny. The guy, <clears throat> great work on the mic. I don't understand half of the shit he says. I love how Jericho finally said it, and I've been saying this entire time. What? How he and Cass look like the big dog and little dog. They do! They do look <laughs> like the big dog and the little dog for the car from the Looney Tunes like cartoons. Just like a rabbit chihuahua uh, just hey, standing hey, around. Hey, hey, Spike, hey, Spike, hey, Spike, hey, Spike. <laughs> it's really what he looks like. He reminds me of that. I mean, like, it, it it's was good stuff. It's funny as hell. But, um, you have Enzo hit and Sasha hitting on each other while hitting on each other. Sasha, how you doing? So, how you doing? How you doing? How, how you, you doing? doing? It was it, it was um, it was Joey from hey, Friends man, approved. How you doing? It was Matt LeBlanc approved. That's why I didn't remember because nobody in Friends is memorable at all. That show sucked. Jennifer uh, and, Aniston. Huh? Jennifer Aniston. I hate Jennifer Aniston. She's not attractive at all. Okay, I don't hate her. I just don't see the big deal about her. Isn't she about your <clears throat> age? Not 45, Cassie. I know I may sound like I'm 55 sometimes, <laughs> even though I can't drive 55, but come on. Anyway. Don't say it. Can't drive 55! Ow. Anyway, so um, Enzo hitting on uh, Sasha. I don't think Liv Morgan would like that. Yes, apparently Enzo and Liv Morgan are dating. I guess that's kind of fitting if you've seen their the way they act on TV. Um, you have any idea who Liv Morgan is? Yeah, I've seen her. Okay, I, I, did, I didn't remember. I didn't remember. It's At like, least okay. she's not Liv Tyler. I mean, I never saw the big appeal with Liv Tyler, honestly. And so probably get some deep reaction there. <clears throat> I mean, loving an elevator. <laughs> Living it up because she's going down. Loving an elevator. Anyway, so uh, first match, Enzo and Sasha versus Charlotte and Jericho. It was decent. I, I really had no issue with Charlotte going over Sasha. After the great match that they had last week, you have to give Charlotte a win because Sasha's obviously going to retain at SummerSlam. Of course. So, I don't know, it was a decent match for what it was. Mm -hmm. Owens on commentary was gold. He managed to slam Byron, put over 
put over, you know, independent wrestling, put over Enzo and Jericho, and while praising Graves and slamming Cole and Byron. He managed to do all that and I love make how it flow. I slam Cole by saying, you know, if you actually shut up and watch the match, you might learn something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing is, Owens is taking shots even at Vince the way he produces a lot of the writers and a lot of the announcers. So that's great. I mean, it was great stuff. Owens needs to be on commentary more, especially if he ever gets injured when he's rehabbing his injury. Have him on Raw on commentary. Have him, please. I mean, have him on commentary. Yeah, really Raw. I mean, he really could. Well, him and his wife have two kids, so, I mean, I would get Raw with her in a heartbeat. I mean, my God. Um, but he was great. Um, so, let's see. The ref tried to give Charlotte the title after the match. Ref, you, you had one job. <clears throat> Even Jericho was like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Maybe, you know, he, he might have gotten confused or whether they're in Atlanta. They aren't familiar with titles. They haven't had a Super Bowl He's title. He's heat stroke. He's, is it that hot in Atlanta? Is yeah. it hot enough for you in Atlanta? Um, anyway. Pretty damn hot. I'm, I'm sorry, Cassie, what, what was that? Pretty damn hot. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> anyway, so, okay. We're so inbred, we're a stump. Okay, so inbred you're a sandwich, our family tree is so short it's a stump. Yeah. Or it's a straight line. Or a straight line, yeah. It's both. It's a, a very A straight tall stump, stump lot. <laughs> well then! It's about this high! It's, it's, been, it's been trimmed from the top. It's a circumcised tree. Anyway, we're after you, had, you have... No, no one <laughs> is hardy high. Not even the final deletion was hardy high. <laughs> Brother Nilo, I knew you'd come. Anyway, so Braun versus Evan. I didn't even catch a guy's last name. At least that guy had a chin, unlike uh, Ellsworth last At week. At least he got his thousand bucks. I mean, he, so did the chin guy, or the no chin guy. Um, God, that chin guy. <coughs> poor guy. You know, sign him. Why not? He put over Braun fine. Seriously, put the, let, let him go to NXT. He can put over people. Anyway, more squashes. I'm taking off Braun with his chin. He didn't have a chin. That was the whole point. Braun could have taken him out with his chin. Um, I want Braun more. Strokeman. I. That's why his hair. That's why his beard is so stiff. Yeah. Anyway, that's I want more. No I want now. more squashes on Raw. I want more squashes. Here's what. Like vegetables. <coughs> yes, vegetables like butter, butter, butternut squash. This is you a single. Roasted and spaghetti noodles look. Are, 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 were you going to finish that, Cassie? You kind of got lost with where you were going Making with the food. Making roasted spaghetti noodles out of the squash. <clears throat> Put a little butter on it. Okay, uh, now let's take a second here. <laughs> How do you make roasted spaghetti noodles out of squash? You actually roast it and take a fork and scrape it out. And make that does not look out. like what you're doing right now. It looks like you're bu busting nut nutting squash, actually, is what it looks like you're doing. <laughs> Busted nut squash. <clears throat> Man. That's why I never got a Food Network show among other things, among, you know, among the many... Oh, you love Jada. Among the dirty things I would do to Jada, I don't care if she's 45 and has restrained... Never watch The Kitchen with this guy. Well, that's because the women should be back in the kitchen. That's what you... What? So, so why aren't you? <laughs> I can smack you upside the head, I'm telling them. <laughs> it's the first time she can say that. Oh, come on. You you set yourself up for that one. You're How tall are you anyway? Four or seven. You didn't realize how it fluctuates? You either go between four seven I and four seven? I just went to the doctor and it's like four seven. The doctor's four foot seven? Yes. Sir, I can look you right in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your stethoscope, right? Sure. Why not? Was it a female doctor? Yes. Oh my! <laughs> that's not a female stethoscope. Ooh, God, if that's hanging out. I even she... had a pap exam with it, too. Man, my show has gone off the rails here. <laughs> um, you know, it's like seeing his pap smear campaign. Anyway, so, okay, let's go back to the squash match. I want more squash I matches. I that's blue ribbon approved. Yeah, the, the, the pap smear you were talking about, or the, the shirt? Yes. Okay, good, all right. <laughs> and on that note... Well, more squash matches. It it establishes people properly. <coughs> it's more squash. If it, yes, with the with the you know the flaying that you were doing. It does not look like you're flaying stuff at all. I could do like that. You already were. <laughs> anyway, so Golden Truth versus the Shining Stars. Why? You know what? That that motion's more entertaining than that match. First <laughs> off, get Golden Truth off my off get my TV. Get off my TV. 
You're watching my TV. <laughs> no, you're watching your TV. <laughs> anyway, so the Shining Stars, they actually picked up a win. No reaction. No one Talk gave a to shit. The Caribbean. No, Puerto Rico, damn it. <laughs> the Shining Star of the Caribbean. Get your horrible vignettes right. I tuned out of it. It's so fucking Co boring. Co Corey Graves said, Corey Graves said something about this being embarrassing. They were Los Matadors. I don't know how much more embarrassing that could have gotten. At least they didn't call it the Silver Dome. Good to be back here in the Silver Dome. <laughs> back here in the Super Dome. Man, poor, poor, <laughs> poor racist Grandpa Hogan. You going 55 to the Silver Dome? I mean... No, John, don't say it. Don't, don't, Go ahead. You're don't. Gonna say the, it anyway. the flood waters went more than fifty-five to the Superdome. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I can't folks. Stop him. Really can't. You should have seen the stuff I tweet. He At just projects tiles I, insults out of his mouth. Yeah, marble and granite tiles right out of my mouth. Anyway, that must um, hurt. It does. You it get does. Road action. There? It floors people though when I hit them. <laughs> um, but anyway, we do not need golden truths or shining stars against each other. At least have them job out to other teams. That deserve Golden it. Pokemon truth. Ooh, we need the Pokemon to go away. We need the Poke truth. That's something you shouldn't Google. Don't ever <laughs> Google that, by the way. Balor's. Balor's. No! Come forward, cowardly lion. Balor's leather excites the ladies, especially Bailey. Bailey there's wants to. There's some who call me Tim? There's some who call me Tim? <laughs> the rabbit with that? big teeth. Did we get to that point yet, or are we back We... Now? You know what? <laughs> I don't think we did, actually. I don't think we did get that there. That was worth mentioning, because that was hilarious. What was the Tim part? Where did we say that? It Was that... Uh, oh, that was what Jericho was talking to Tom. All right. And anyway, Owens came up yeah. and said, I got your back. <clears throat> you. <laughs> anyway, we're going to we're gonna actually transition here, but Balor's Leather excites the ladies, especially Bailey. It was good. It was good promo work between Seth Owens and... Owens is jealous because his demon's bigger. Yeah, see, that's really what it is. He kept looking down at Balor's demon, and it's like, Seth, I no. still love he's, how he's talking about how big of a man he is. So I'm the bigger not. man. No, Seth, no, Seth, you're, you're really not. You're not a I mean, man. Seth, bravo to you for being an incredible athlete and in great shape. But, but you're you, not big enough to be a man. You come up short in the membership department. Um, <clears throat> it was like good. a little lipstick. It's, little lipstick. Lipstick, so, lipstick. Do I dare ask where you find this stuff? <laughs> it's, I've been hanging out with you and Chris too long. It's really true. If Chris was here, he would vouch for that. Um, but you should it, have seen me in high school. It was good. Were you, I was so were innocent you, in high school. Were, nah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't cuss or anything. Ah! Oh, right in the sternum! <laughs> I, I, I sort of. I felt a nipple. You actually hit me here. Is where I you felt actually. A nipple. So you're gonna nip on the center Boy, of your sternum Jesus now? Jesus Christ! If, good thing, good thing, Kyle is around to hear that. <laughs> Take him out of context. The husband hearing that with his wife and his I wife's best friend. The wrong place. Oh my God! He's got a third nipple developing. Boggy Creek too. Got a third nipple developing. Ah, <laughs> uh, Boggy Creek two, MST three K. Oh, anyway, <laughs> despite Balor not being a very good talker, he's not. Balor's not a good talk. He was trying so hard not to say arse. Kick your ass, arse. Damn it. Hand, the only thing that's going to get handed to you is your ass. I want somebody to meet, know what's next for Finn Balor. He's got a fur coat on. I mean, that's what I, that's what I keep hearing. What's next for Finn Balor? Finn Balor. Anyway, Baylor. he's not Baylor University. <laughs> not Baylor University from Texas. Balor doesn't have a, sc a scandal that follows him. Finn Balor. No, again, he doesn't have a sex scandal that follows him. But anyway, it was good Not build. Yet. I'm happy with this match, however it turns out. Uh, Rusev versus Henry. I don't, ki I don't care. Why is Henry still wrestling in 2016? <laughs> because he's representing the WWE in the Olympics. I mean, Mark Henry could smother the Zika virus, possibly. I mean, he possibly could. I mean, it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't affect guys with beer bellies in the back of their head. So you know. Anyway, it, the match was stupid. It was stupid. No, it was just like a double head in the back. I, it's a, oh, it's a double head that talks to him. Yeah, like that one scary story. Yeah. <laughs> it just turns um, around. It's just dark side. It just starts around. I don't think dark side was the best thing to say with Henry right there. I mean, 
I mean, that was kind of wrong, but It's whatever. like the Snickers side of him. It turns around like... <laughs> ooh, that... Ooh, that slip of the tongue on the... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. We're moving on from this before it gets bad. It was a bad match, Rusev won, yay. And why was Reigns red? What about... What? You're not going to talk about Lana's dress? Oh, what, what was left of Lana's dress was, you know, what Rusev did rip and off. And her wonderful and, wedding. Good for them. I am really happy for Rusev and Lana. They are very happy together. Very awesome people. He gets to ravage the fuck out of her every and night. no man can have her but him. That was the worst <laughs> Russian accent I've ever heard in my life. Well, I'm not rushing in life. I mean, you're not, I mean, trying to get ahead in life. House on Haunted Hill, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, so... I'm getting ahead of ourselves. So, Reigns were... Like, we're so far behind on time, it's not even funny. It's funny, <clears throat> y'all! Why was Re... <laughs> he's uh, Chernobyl funny, y'all! Now I'm just thinking of Family Guy. Oh, he's so funny! Because there is no pool, because we are a Death Star. Oh! oh. I may have sounded like he got shot. You may have sounded like he had an orgasm. Anyway, so... Reigns in red... I don't know what the fuck the deal with that was. That was ridiculous. Please do not give Reigns the U.S. title SummerSlam. Don't. He's died, it's, his vest has died with Eva's, Eva's failed power. <laughs> so all of it? I mean, because Eva really is a it's failure. died with Eva's failure to wrestle. So all of it, because Eva is a failure. Yeah. Can we agree, though, that Reigns taking the title off of Rusev would be a really bad idea? He does not deserve a title. At least he's not going for the <coughs> universal title. They're putting him somewhere. Such a down fucking stupid. God, that's such a fucking stupid. Universal name. Pictures title. <laughs> Baron TriStar Pictures horse suddenly appears with the title. <laughs> Apparently, it's a demonic horse that I'm doing. But anyway. It's been new day. Huh? It fit new day. A TriStar horse comes Ye jumping out of the title. You. It fit new day. <laughs> you. Generation title. She's either trying to do a steering wheel or gyrate. I can't I'm not do a gyrate on a stool. Oh my. <laughs> anyway, so Titus versus Darren. Um, I mean, it sounded like it, it, Titus got the win really quickly. I don't care about this match at all. It sounded like the uh, announcer said Coitus O'Neal. <laughs> Post Coitus O'Neal. Let that image just sit there right there with Titus who kisses his teenage son and open on the mouth. <laughs> This is getting gross. I'm moving on from this. Um, that was just weird. I don't know what when when they made Titus heal all of a sudden. I guess they just made him heal when he was saying, "Darren, when did, when were you great before?" Because he pissed <clears throat> himself by hugging him, so Vince made him a heel. I mean, at least he's doing something with him. I mean, whatever. I mean, I remember Batista telling Titus that he should have just uh, put in his notice. Which at least he didn't tell Titus <coughs> he should have died in the womb. I mean that that feud. That feud was <laughs> god awful. The god that feud was How awful. How do you feel about their new TV show? Total Bellas! I mean, they were basically, besides Natty, they were basically the stars of the show anyway. I'm just saying, with all the TV time, so obviously. Why don't gonna... we have Total Natty? You like I that. mean, Tyson already kind of gets that, though. you seen how many. You, you have an Instagram, right? Yeah. You follow her on Instagram? Yeah. You see how many fucking cats she has? It's like five of them. But she'd give you her whole heart. It was horrible. <laughs> what kind of person does puns on my show? What, the person by my ear? Who are you pointing to? <laughs> I'm getting fingered on my own show and it's uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, touch my swollen knobby head. This is getting creepy now. <laughs> getting creepy, right? Like, it hasn't been creepy for the first 19 minutes. Naya versus Ariel, Rihanna Monroe. Um, Chris Brown wasn't out there. That's a good thing. Um, and Rihanna wasn't. Why being... do we? I hate these jobber matches. They're... See, here's my here's my thing about it. they they're going back more to what Raw was in the in the very beginning. And I have no problem with that. You give jobbers a chance to get some TV exposure, and <clears throat> you make your monsters who can't really do much look powerful. Naya has massive cardio issues. Massive I know cardio these issues. Jobbers can't meet. Uh, can't beat. Yeah. They can't be Nia Jigglejacks. They can't meet Maya Dibblejacks either, but that's what she was trying to say before, and then she actually. She's gonna you know, start calling her Jigglejacks. 
Jiggle chat. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so okay. Get your fat ass back here. <laughs> Not like Michael Jackson trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so New Day versus uh, Gallows and Anderson. That was lame because it ended so quickly. New Day got the win. Beat down by Gallows and Anderson. It wasn't bad, but it's like, why couldn't they have picked up the victory to build momentum I'm to get a title shot? Well, that's... Here's what's going to happen. <coughs> Gallows and Anderson could win a SummerSlam, win the tag titles if they get a tag match. Then they help uh, Finn win the, ma win the Universal title. At SummerSlam. Well, they could even do it without the title. They, they could, but I think Gals and Anderson need... Gals and Anderson need the tag titles more than Finn needs to be the first Universal Champion. Are you trying to get them to separate themselves from the Bullet Club? No, I'm trying to make give Gals and Anderson a credible win, because they need that. They haven't had a credible pay-per-view win. Um, but anyway, Cesaro versus Sheamus, it wasn't bad. You've seen this match a lot before. They shamed us <clears throat> to come on his oh, beard. Oh, oh God, Sheamus, <laughs> snag on his beard. Sheamus, Sheamus, you gotta fix that. It I mean, like we do not need you stroking your clover to that point that that yeah. happens. Um, so they have a brawl afterwards to set up to SummerSlam. Duh. Slater and Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, formerly of 3MB, which was Heath Slater. Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre, who's now Drew Galloway. Can what? I go back to the thing with Cesaro for a second? Uh, okay. What thing with Cesaro? How would you feel about when Mick was saying, uh, this is why you weren't on Raw because we were told your shoulder injury might no, be No, this is why you weren't picked higher, you mean. Yeah. And that's fair. <coughs> His shoulder kept him out for a while. That is fair. What they say the reason was for Sheamus? He sucks? I mean, that would be just as good a reason as any. Yeah. Sheamus isn't very good. I was actually wondering why Cesaro didn't get picked higher. Um, can you take me higher to a place with golden sheets? Sure. Uh, Ernie Mike Creed here. I will never go <laughs> higher with you. Yeah. Says I mean, the person sitting to, on a stool. To be, to be right fair, there. you really can't unless you're sitting on a stool. So, anyway. I could put um, pillows and stuff on it, but I'd have to climb. Yeah, she's already reaching new heights here. Slater and Jinder. Jinder wins. Slater's story continue. I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. Slater and Jinder are doing... That's enough out of you. Uh, Jinder is on Raw. Slater probably can go SmackDown at some point. At least this is something for Slater to do. Don't carry it out much past SummerSlam. What the fuck are you doing? Being as white as I possibly can. I mean, I, I thought you already <laughs> were. I mean, but... I'm being whiter. Whiter. White her. I'm trying to get Seamus white. You. Seamus <laughs> snag on his beard. Jericho and Owens. Okay. This is where Jericho is like saying, you know, <laughs> it's like, shut up, Tim. It's Tom. Shut up, Tim. There are some who called me Tim. Anyway, rabbit with nasty teeth. An eccentric performance. Anyway, so, okay. Jericho and Owens. Enzo and Cass. You could build up with that. That's fine. That could be a fun tag match at, uh, <laughs> at SummerSlam. Uh, Zayn and Rollins. If you had, didn't have to give time to Lesnar and, ha and Heyman, this could, should have been the main event. It felt like it was cut short. It wasn't a bad match. Rollins needed to pick up the win. Zayn had his moment beating uh, Owens at Battleground. Yes, it was a little short, and they probably could have been given a couple more minutes. But hey, Rollins getting the win, builds momentum. Zayn still looks, uh, you know, doesn't look horrible. But yeah, they could have made it go a little longer. And then Heyman, it, it, it was a good match, but it could have been it could have been short or uh, longer. I mean, but anyway, Heyman, uh, you Should know, in, like Rollins? yes, yes. And speaking of, and speaking of shorter, we're going to talk about somebody who's smaller after coming back from UFC 200. Heyman introducing Lesnar, the Reuter of the Octagon. After knowing <clears> all about survival. Oh, <laughs> need to concentrate on this joke here. Um. Anyway, so Heyman, hell of a performance. <coughs> you know, he promotes a fight great. And, so burnt. Or, God, he was so burnt. I don't know what the hell Heyman's been doing. I mean, he, he needs to stay out of the sun for a bit. Um, Orton with the RKO on Nowhere, which, okay. I mean, I was a bit, I, I guess I was a little surprised they did it. Because I figured they might want to save it for a couple weeks from now, but whatever. It's a good teaser. <clears throat> Orton teasing Lesnar with his Viper. Teasing no the beast. Needed. Yes, no enhancements he got. <laughs> Or just so badly gonna pay for that you line of so individual, yeah. Oh, you saucy wench. <laughs> anyway, so it was a decent closing segment, but you could have had this at hour two, and it wouldn't have mattered. You need to have Lesnar close the show. You didn't. Sorry, you didn't need it. 
Um, it could have opened. Let, no, no, hour two. And I only say hour two because then you could have closed with Lesnar, or it could close with Rollins and Zayn. I just feel like having the D, or women's championship open kind of fell out of place a little bit. That, oh, you mean that segment? That didn't, that wasn't bad. It was better than, than I'm Foley. I'm used to seeing it in the middle, though. It was better than, never mind about that. <laughs> it's better than Foley and Stephanie opening again. It was better than that. Yeah. So I will give this Raw a seven. It wasn't obviously as good as last week's. It was better than others. Yes, the, the a couple of the jobber matches, whatever, the squash matches. I still liked them, but a couple of the matches I didn't care much for. But still, it had a good pace to it. They've at least managed to improve the pace of it so it doesn't feel like it's dragging on yet. Wait till football season. Right after SummerSlam, it's probably going to get really bad again. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, Go ahead. I'll give it an 8. Give it an 8? Okay. It, I mean, it wasn't as good as last week. Yeah, but no, last week's was like an A minus. This is a but like the freaking the jokes and the oh the yeah. script on it. Oh my god, that yeah. was funny as well. They hell. they were great. Obviously, you can tell that Vince is not you know scripting the writers as much, or the writers aren't scripting the wrestlers as much, and they're allowed you to go out there. You can tell they're getting away from that PG shit. A little. I mean, you gotta still care to uh, the kids. You can care to some adults. You gotta keep it safe enough. For the wrestlers. But the heat of it so <clears throat> boring with Sasha. Oh, that's great. That was great. That was great. <laughs> but that was great stuff. But anyway, that's the end of the show. My favorite well, was the one-night stand stuff. The one-night stand stuff with Sasha and Charlotte was great. So anyway, finishing up here. I will be back for the CWC. I will not be here for SmackDown tomorrow. If I will be working, like usual I do on Tuesdays, I will be here next Tuesday to watch it, possibly. Anyway, follow me on Twitter, at Reborn Again, R-E-B-L-U-R-N-E again. And as the white girl takes us out, we're done. <laughs>